This is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to put a conclusion to this series on a man's word. And uh, I hope I gave everybody something to think about. And uh, if nothing else, it helps me understand my actions when I have to talk about it. But I tell you, even though a man's word is everything, there are times you can't keep your word. And it's devastating. I did go bankrupt. So my financial word, I couldn't back it up. It was after my wife's second stroke. She was totally paralyzed. I knew for me to keep my word for her to take care of her, and care for her. I'm gonna take everything, everything I had. And I didn't have time to do anything. And uh, financially, I had to make a choice. Uh, I didn't want the state to pay for her care. That's my responsibility. I had uh, I had the money in gold and silver, but then again, I know. I'll never be able to work again for the rest of my life. I'll be caring for her. They told me she was totally paralyzed. So I knew my work was cut out for me now. Now it's time for me to stand up for what I said I would do, care for her for the rest of our lives. So, uh, I chose to keep the gold and silver and go bankrupt and use the gold and silver to continue our lives with. To tell you the truth, it was so devastating, I thought I was going to die. And that's why I wanted her to have something when I was dead. And, and that's why we came down here. Because she'd be with family. So somebody would take care of her. If I couldn't do it, I didn't want the state to do it. We're Chinese. And so our culture dictates that we take care of our loved ones and our friends. So, I went bankrupt. That was really devastating, really bad. I've heard people say they've gone bankrupt and they said it was bad. It really is. Uh, And I, but I had to do what I had to do. So, uh, there's, what I'm trying to get across is our word. It's basically 
the only thing a man has that is his. I guess this falls under manning up. Because there's times you have to let everything else go. All material things. Let them all go. And do the right thing. And it has to back up your word. Your word is nothing light. It is everything. And uh, <laughs> when you get around me, I take you at your word. Spoken word or not. When I come up with ideas, goals, stuff like this, I ask the people around me, is this something they can do? Because we break it down to where they can do it. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the truth, I mainly do it with men. Because I know a man is only as good as his word is. If you say you can do it, then I know that part, that piece of the puzzle is taken care of. And then I'll find somebody else to take care of the other part. Don't be scared. Don't be scared about giving your word. To tell you the truth, That's where morals and character comes from. The man that gives his word. You'd be surprised how many men refuse to give their word. It's a sign of weakness. A weak character and weak morals. Sure the hell not manning up. And the more a man gives his word, that means the more he's got to back it up, the more he's respected. That's character. Many times, when we give our word, we're going to need help in keeping it. You've heard me say before, manning up is not easy. And when you see other people trying to man up, you're going to have to stand with them. Because manning up isn't always an individual's responsibility. So in other words, when you give your word, either outright or indirectly, you may need help to get, make sure your word gets completed. There's nothing wrong with that. You heard me say before, we're going to need each other to get through this mess. 
I've been through a lot of messes. I've needed people before. Sometimes I have people around to help, sometimes I don't. It doesn't make any difference. You hear me say that too. I'm going to stand. Stand alone or stand with others. It doesn't make any damn difference to me. I've given my word. My word is everything. And to you, your word is everything also. If it's not, you're not part of the 3%. You are not morally strong. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.